Between laundry, groceries, dishes, and your never-ending to-do list, do you ever feel like your core has checked out and your lower back is taking on the weight of the world? Same girl, same. With all of that running around, it's easy to forget to take care of ourselves, right? Our bodies definitely feel it when our core is not strong, especially the lower back. But here's the good news. This video is the real deal. Do the whole video with me and your core will be up and running by the end and your lower back will thank you. Think of it like a little TLC for your amazing body. No fancy gym stuff is needed just your amazing self. My friend, are you ready to feel your core strength and stability? Me too. Go get your mat set up and I'll meet you there. We're gonna come down onto our backs and we're gonna start with some nice basic foundational core work. You can have your hands at your side or in goalpost position, whatever feels best for you. Legs in tabletop position. You're gonna go into toe taps toe tapping towards the floor. You can heel tap if you want more challenge. The further away your heels land from your booty, the harder it is. So you wanna decide for yourself what feels right. You wanna feel this deep in your belly, connected into the psoas. If you start feeling your thighs working more than your abs, you wanna stop and rest. You really want to feel that connection of the deep belly and the psoas. Remembering to breathe, keeping your shoulders open and the back of your neck nice and long. If you start feeling any strain in your lower back, you want to stop and rest. You can always bring your knees into your chest and rock out your lower back. I'm just gonna do a few more. I'm feeling that my thighs wanna start taking over. So I'm gonna go ahead and rest, bring my knees into the chest and then just rock out the lower back. Good. Okay, from there, we're gonna go into modified hundreds. So you're gonna be keeping the tabletop position mm -hmm. the whole time. You wanna feel the powerhouse engaged. Inner thigh, booty, deep abs on, even before you begin the exercise. You wanna inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, going into the upper ab curl, bringing your hands down, inhaling five times, exhaling five times out the mouth as you pulse your arms. Halfway there. Last set. And rest, bring your knees into your chest. Whew. Oh my goodness. So you're gonna be sitting with your legs out in front of you, arms extended out in front of you. You're gonna take a breath in to prepare and then on the exhale, you're gonna hollow out your belly, pull navel to spine as you try to sequentially roll down through the spine all the way down onto your back, bringing your arms overhead, taking a breath in, chin to chest, and then exhale, rolling up. And then reaching over toward your toes to stretch. And then coming back up to sitting to go again, right? So hollowing out the belly, rolling down through the spine sequentially, is bringing your arms overhead, inhaling chin to chest. Exhaling, rolling up. And then going into the stretch, reaching over the toes as best you can. And then coming back up to sitting. And then you're gonna repeat that. So hollowing out the belly, rolling down through the spine. 
hopefully one vertebra at a time and with control. Bringing the arms overhead, inhaling chin to chest, exhaling, rolling up. And then reaching over toward your toes to stretch, coming back up to sitting to go again. Hollowing out the belly, tucking the pelvis, feeling the sit bone shift toward the heels, imprinting one vertebra at a time on the mat, moving with your breath. and getting that nice stretch at the end. We may be moving at different speeds, that's okay. Try to control the movement as best you can. Try to move with your breath. Try not to jerk up. Try to move as sequentially through the spine as possible. Hopefully you're feeling that nice ab work, feeling it getting deep in the belly, and then feeling that stretch. I'm just going to go one more time. Excellent. All right. Great. So from there, we're going to go into rolling like a ball. So you want to start with your toes off the mat. You can be hugging the back of your thighs or for more challenge, hugging your shins. And you want to pull your belly button toward the back of your spine until you literally just float back. And then you want to come back up to your home base position, trying not to let the toes come back down on the mat. So the trick here is really being patient and pulling that belly in so much that it literally tips you back and you literally float back. You'll have a much smoother ride through the spine. If you do that, you'll get deeper into the belly and you wanna make sure that you don't let the abs go when you roll back, right? That you stay connected into the belly. The closer you keep your heels to your booty, the more challenging it is. You really want to try to be patient. Really pull that belly in so much that you literally float back. You might feel like you're stuck there for a little bit, but I trust me, if you keep pulling those abs back, at some point you're literally gonna just float back. It should feel like a nice smooth ride along the spine. Be patient, keep pulling that belly in, keep pulling it in until you literally float right back. You should feel that nice, deep ab work. I'm just gonna do a couple more. One more. Ah, excellent. You did it.
Thank you for joining me today. I hope these core exercises help you feel strong and more stable. Let's take a moment to appreciate these incredible bodies that carry us through each and every day. These exercises are a way to show our body some love and keep them moving for years to come. Listen to your body. Our abilities may be different and that's fine. Don't push yourself too hard and with consistency, you will feel improvement. Even just four times a week can make a huge difference. Better posture, less pain and better stability. You'll be surprised how much better you feel overall. So what do you think? Which exercise was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more workouts to help you stay strong and flexible. See you next time. Bye for now. Special shout out to my Vital 7 stars. Thank you for making this video possible. Are you ready for exclusive content, early access to content and other perks? Join us on Patreon. Click on the link in the description of this post for more.